So you've made the decision to build a new Drupal site. Awesome. But what version of Drupal should you build on? Drupal 7 or Drupal 8? Hey guys, Tom Friedhoff here, Solutions Architect here at ActiveLamp. Lately, every single call I've taken regarding building a new Drupal site involves the question, should I build on Drupal 7 or Drupal 8? This question inevitably comes up on every single phone call, and if it doesn't come up, I bring it up. To tell you the truth, we'd rather build on Drupal 8 than Drupal 7. Drupal 8 is a way better developer experience, and it's a lot more fun to develop on Drupal 8. But I've digressed. Let's talk about your needs. Should you have your new Drupal site built on Drupal 7 or Drupal 8? My answer, it depends. Drupal is in a state where although the latest and greatest release is out, adoption hasn't reached critical mass yet. Why is that? Part of the reason is that the contributed module ecosystem, probably one of the most valuable assets to Drupal, takes time to catch up after a new major release. So if your site requires, for example, the private message module or the persistent URL module, well, you're probably better off sticking to Drupal 7 until the modules you need are upgraded. Unless you're working with a firm that will take you down that trailblazing path to upgrade the modules you need on Drupal 8. That's what our firm does. In fact, the persistent URL module that I mentioned earlier is one of those hidden gems in Drupal Contrib that we recently upgraded to Drupal 8 for a client so that we could create microsite functionality in D8. Now this approach doesn't make sense for a lot of organizations. It takes more time and more resources to be on the bleeding edge. But what is the reward? Well, let's think about it from the other perspective. If you were to start building a Drupal 7 site right now for your organization and it takes three months to release, that means your brand spanking new website would be launched sometime around Q4 of this year. Right around the time that Dries Boitart, the creator of Drupal, predicts that the release of Drupal 8 sites will overtake Drupal 7. Drupal 8 is expected to hit critical mass by the end of this year. Well, we're kind of in this funny period, right? We're in this period where, um, you know, roughly there, where Drupal 7 adoption is kind of going down, yet Drupal 8 adoption is going up, and it creates a little bit of nervousness with some of you. But I've seen this many, many times. I've seen this, you know, I've been doing releases of Drupal for, you know, 15 years, actually. <laughs> and so this happens every major release of Drupal. We, we're in this funny period. I personally would advise against building anything on Drupal 7. Your web platform is an investment in your brand and is a driving force of your organization's goals. An investment. When you invest money, you want to see the value of that investment move up and to the right on a value over time chart. It's a better investment to adopt Drupal 8 right now. You'll get a bigger return on your investment simply because you're in the market for a much longer time. Hmm, that sounds a lot like what my 401k advisor tells me. And Drupal 8 adoption is going to be on the upward swing most likely for the next five years. The only time I would say it's okay to start building a Drupal 7 site right now is if you're in a time crunch and need to get something up fast. But then again, you should weigh that urgency against the lifetime benefit of your website. Will the life of this new website span the next three, four, or five years? If so, is it really a good idea to squeeze a site build on Drupal 7 into two or three months? You might be using this site in the year 2020. Or are you better off spending a little bit more time, maybe three or four months, to build on Drupal 8? Drupal 8 will likely be peaking in 2020. From our experience, Generally, you're looking at 20 to 25% more resources to build on Drupal 8. That's taking into account any contrib upgrades or custom modules that need to be written. So, should you build on Drupal 7 or Drupal 8? If you're looking at your web platform as an investment, then Drupal 8 is where you should be looking. However, I've heard people being very successful day traders, so if your site doesn't need to be in the market very long to gain value from it, then Drupal 7 is probably fine. One last thing, moving to Drupal 8 does not have to be an all or nothing approach. We have a client that we are gradually moving to Drupal 8 as we build out new features. Currently, portions of their site are on Drupal 7 and Drupal 8, but to the end user, it's completely transparent. 
If you're interested in hearing how we're doing this, leave a comment below or tweet at Active Lamp and ask. If there's enough interest, we'll put out another video to show how we're actually doing this. Thanks for watching. Talk to you next time.